Hey guys, Will here from RC Glider Guiders. I just got this box in from Dreamflight. It's the Weasel. It's an all-foam glider. I wanted to share it with you and share some of the accessories that I bought to go with it. Hope you enjoy the video. Let's get the box open and see what it's all about. So when you open the box, this is what you are going to see. It's a bunch of the foam pieces, uh, the center section, the two wing halves. You get an instruction manual, um, the, the tail fin, and a little bag of hardware. And I'm going to lay it all out on the table for you and let you check it out. Okay, guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is what's in the box. It's all laid out for you. you got the center section, left wing panel, right wing panel. There's a little bag of hardware with your push rods for your elevons. Um, there's the clevises, uh, Velcro for your receiver, and I think that's it. Those little uh, white squares in there, I'm not really sure what those are for yet. Um, the instruction manual is excellent. I read it all the way through. It's got some history of uh, Dream Flight uh, in the first couple of pages. I was really impressed by the uh, the manual. They give you everything uh, laid out really, really clear on the assembly, and the assembly is really basic. Um, I think a beginner uh, would be able to assemble this. Um, may need some help with uh, radio setup, but I really think a, a beginner could assemble this without any trouble. So. Center section, left wing panel, right wing panel, tail fin, bag of hardware, um, nice little decal sheet, and the manual. That's everything that comes out of the box. Here's some of the extra things that I bought to go with the, uh, the Trek uh, Weasel from Dream Flight. I bought their flight pack because I didn't have the right size um, receiver pack battery. Um, and I looked on eBay and it was just cheaper to buy it from them. And uh, if you buy the flight pack, you save 15%. It's got um, an extension. It's just uh, a nice lightweight uh, way to disconnect the power from the receiver without uh, having to find a way to stuff a switch in there. So it just gives you, basically what it does is it gives you some slack and a place to uh, just disconnect the uh, nickel metal hydride receiver pack from your receiver. That's the receiver pack. Um, 4.8 nickel metal hydride, 750 milliamp. And then what I really like is that the, the servos that come with the flight pack are, it's hard to see. They've got the little Dream Flight logo on them, but they, these are not just any old junky um, servo. Dream Flight went ahead and in their flight pack, you get a digital, servo, metal gear, ball bearing support on the output shaft. And I, you know, I took these out and uh, checked them out. They center perfectly every time. And uh, I was really impressed. Um, they're $24.95, I think, if you buy them separately. But in the flight pack, like I said, you buy the flight pack and you get the the two servos, and these drop right into the wing um, of the weasel. You know, there's um, a servo mounting location. These just it drop right in, custom fit. So you get the two servos, the battery, and the extension. Um, and it just made sense to me to go ahead and do that. The other thing that I ordered was um, a voltage checker. You know, if it's green, go. If it's yellow, um, it means pay attention to it. If it's red, you need to stop flying and either go charge your battery or drop into drop a fresh battery into the uh, into the weasel. 
I also picked up some ballast weights. Get up to Cape Cod, and sometimes you get up there and the wind is really, really blowing, and uh, you need a little extra ballast weight um, to uh, to keep from getting blown around. So inexpensive, and if you order it, you know you order these things when you order the your kit, whether it's the uh, the weasel or the uh, Alula or the Yahi. Um, you order everything at once and you save a bunch on shipping. So, and then the last thing I got was a USB charger. Um, I think it was about $15 for this. Um, it does have a little indicator right here. I don't know if you can see that or not. Plug it in any USB, uh, any USB port um, that you would normally charge like your cell phone with. Plug the battery in to the other end. When the light turns green, you're good to go. It's just a nice inexpensive battery charger that I can throw in my backpack. Um, I have a bag already set that I can throw the, the weasel in, um, throw it back in the, the original box, and then just toss it in a backpack with all my accessories, my extra batteries, so on and so forth, and uh, I'll be good to go. So I just wanted to share this with you. It's from dreamflight.com, and... Check out their website. Some of their uh, their planes, their airplanes right now, their gliders are out of stock. It says that they'll be in late summer, early fall. Um, <clears throat> there is a few more things that I'd like to get that are out of stock right now, but um, I can't do it. So uh, yeah, guys, check it out. Go to their go to their website. Check out some of the videos on their website. Really impressive. The um, if you could see the, yeah, you could see it right there. The foam texture, foam texture is nice and smooth. It's really smooth on the bottom. And uh, I did, I ended up mine. In, mine showed up with a few dings in the wing. Um, no big deal. That's going to happen on your first landing. They put some protectors here on the uh, factory installed um, horns. They just put these on there to keep them from dinging up the other wing half while they're in shipping. Um, plenty of flex in the uh, in the aileron hinge. Happy with that. Plenty of throw there. Look at that. And um, let me just show you how this rotates onto the. Uh... So here's here's the center section. I'm trying to do this. I should move the camera. Here's my center section. And then you see the opening right here. I just line those up. Slide it together. And then you see the magnet right there? Just rotates. And those two magnets meet. There's a small screw that goes in right here. It hits the wing spar. And you just want to bottom you know hit the once the screw touches the wing spring wing spar um, just give it a you know another slight turn you just want to snug it down you don't want to crush it and I'm pretty sure what I saw on their website was that they add a strip of blend derm tape right here just for extra security and then right here That pops off that's all held on with magnets and there's your compartment for your receiver for your receiver and your uh, your battery pack um, nice clean design it's kind of funny to me when I was on the website and I was checking out the uh, checking out the weasel for the first time I thought this was the canopy and that was upright but actually that's this is the bottom of the uh, the weasel. It's got a nice place right here for you to uh, put your finger for your launch. And um, great design. These two lines right here, you can see those. That's your CG. That's where you want to balance the, uh, the weasel. All right, guys. I just wanted to share this with you real quick. 
and um, I'll do another video as I, you know, maybe as I go along on the assembly or after the assembly and give you my, my thoughts. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it uh, pointed some things out that maybe you didn't see when you were watching the, um, the videos that are currently online or some of the reviews. I know there was a review on RC groups. Your, uh, your tail fin, same thing. Uh, it's hard for me to say. Magnets. And that's it. I didn't notice in the instruction manual, but um, I'm sure it says something, but I'm going to put a piece of blend derm uh, tape on each side here, right at the right at that seam. Don't need much, but just something for some added security. But then when you're done, I mean, you peel that off, you're ready to go home. All the components disassemble and you can put them right back in the box the way they came out the day you got it. It's an awesome design. I'm really impressed with it. Um, can't wait for Dreamflight to get some more of their stuff in stock because, like I said, I want to get some more of their... Um, some more of their planes for for me and uh, I want to get one for my brother too because he lives on the Cape and uh, lucky guy he lives on Cape Cod and he can drive up to the National Seashore you can find lots of cool places to fly along the along the shoreline um, the National Seashore and on the bay side depends which way the winds blowing but all right guys I'm starting to ramble so I'm gonna let you go thanks for checking out the video this is Will from RC Glider Guiders be sure to give the video a thumbs up or a thumbs down. I don't care either way. Leave a comment, good or bad. Um, it helps the channel either way, believe it or not. So thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you at the field.